Today we're going to be speedrunning through Apes vs. Helium, which is basically Bloons FPS. So this game has pretty much everything you would think in a Bloons FPS game. You have first person shooting balloons, they're coming after you. If you hit them, they'll damage you one heart. And yeah, you just go around and try to murder. We also do have the shop where you can upgrade your different things. We can either upgrade our monkey or we can switch classes completely, upgrade from there. And finally, we also have support items like camo detection, regrow blocker, and a monkey ace. And then one final thing I want to show you before we start this speedrun run is we also have this a banana tree we can use that to get extra money and you know that's also going to be helpful for our speed run but yeah that's balloon fps so let's get started so we restarted the game and i'm going to start the speed run as soon as we press continue here because we did put auto start on i feel like that's kind of important so let's just get started with it you can see right away we get going and here comes the balloons our general strategy in the beginning is we don't really have too much going for us and it's just red balloons we're going to try to line them up so that way we can hit multiple at the same time you kind of have to use that strategy i'm going to line these guys guys up hit these and get ready for the next round there's not too much you can do at the beginning because i mean you're just a dart monkey we will upgrade once and get to quick shots and we're going to be using those for a second we will be going into a completely different class later on but for right now it's too expensive and we just want some pop and power for us at the beginning kind of just doing this i mean it's not the most exciting thing in the world it's just red balloons and we're just kind of senselessly murdering them it's a great time but we should be able to upgrade again after one more round so i'm just gonna go through and kill all these oh and now we have blue balloons as well this game performs pretty much exactly how balloons performs it keeps getting harder and harder balloons now the blue balloons have two layers instead of one and yeah we just go through get all these different things try to line them up so we have some pretty good shots and just try to have a good time generally there we go we can get that and now we're going to upgrade our dart monkey once more until we're done with it so i'm going to go in here we're going to get sharp shots and that should be good it should be able to hold us off until we're able to get our next monkey that'll allow us to just have some more pop and power and it will really carry us through the first rounds now the strategy i'm using i think it's the best strategy but i'm going to be honest i'm not completely sure there's a lot of customization you can do with this game so it's really hard to decide what would be the best way of playing it without playing through this game like 10 hours and hey as much as i love bloons fp Yes, I also love having a life. We got to strike a balance between those. We're going to wait until we have about 800 gold and then we can probably upgrade. Right now, I'm not too worried. All we have are red and blue balloons. So it's not like it's the hardest thing in the world. We're just kind of popping. But there we go. That'll be another round. We've only lost one life so far too. I guess because I've been fairly safe. Also, can I get these snipes? Okay, I can. These are beautiful shots right here. And there we go. Now we have green balloons as well. I mean, not too much has changed. They're just slightly stronger balloons than blue ones don't worry this speed run's gonna get a lot more exciting in just a little bit especially once we get to our monkey upgrade i'm gonna keep it for you for now but you can theorize i think we might be able to upgrade now i'm not completely sure if the math will check out but i'm gonna try because i want to get my next thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell this stuff go to dart and we are a little bit short okay well that was just a waste of time whatever i guess i'll just pop a couple more with my now subpar popping abilities this is kind of sad but i only need to get a few more only one more shot okay now i can get the darling cutter and yeah now we have this which is gonna help us a bunch because we don't have to continuously throw them and we can kind of just mow down all these different balloons and there's also so much more customization we can get as we go on so i just think this is the best way to customize it like i said though there are a lot of paths you can take so i'm not completely sure maybe a different path would be slightly better but for me i think the dartling monkey is really good we can also get focused firing soon which is going to help us out because you can see our fire radius isn't doing the greatest for us right now oh god we have like a swarm coming at us this is also why dartling gunner is nice if we were just using the regular dart monkey he just wouldn't really know what to do but we can get through these guys i think we can buy focused fire yes thank you and now we need 800 to buy the next thing which is also going to be really important but focused fire helps out a lot as you can see just because you know where you're actually shooting it's not gonna shoot completely away from you which is a very nice thing it's kind of funny because in regular balloons i do not like the dartling monkey i just don't like always having to point at where you have to shoot him but in this game it's probably my favorite one or at least it's my favorite one for speed running just because i can hold down one button and that's all i have to do look pressing a button that's a lot of difficulty for me i don't really have time for that we can go through this we're just going through popping a little bit more and like i said you know these are the early rounds of balloons you can't really expect too much going on but we've had a pretty good run so far. Oh God, people are coming behind me. They just sneak attacked me. Oh, and we have yellow balloons now too. But I'm really not worried about my lives. I mean, we have 200 of them. We're just doing an easy mode speed run. So it's not like it's the most concerning thing in the world. I also should be able to upgrade in just a second. I don't want to go through the upgrade menu just to see that I'm not able to do it though. So I'm going to get a little extra balloons than maybe I need to, but that should be good right there. We're going to go in here and we can get faster barrel spinning, which is going to make us be able to shoot things much faster. And yeah, time to mow people down. And at this point, 
point, it's also going to be worth it to invest in some of the support upgrades. Now for camo detection and regrow blocker, I don't really think they're worth it yet. We're not going to get too many camo balloons yet. And even if one hits me, I mean, I lose a couple of lives, whatever. And regrow blocker, because we can just focus on one balloon, we don't really have to worry about that either. But what we do want is monkey ace, because I mean, first of all, monkey ace is probably one of my favorite towers. And second of all, I mean, you'll just see what it does. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, these early rounds kind of take dreadfully long just because it's just long lines of balloons that you have to take out one by one but it gets much more exciting as you go on so i'm just kind of waiting for that point oh and now we have pink balloons again doesn't really add too much you can kind of just take care of them especially with the dartling gunner he just doesn't really care any kind of balloons can come at him he just mows them down nice and easy thank you for grouping up like this for me guys i really appreciate it you're making it really easy for me now we probably have enough coins to where we can get this monkey ace oh it's actually more expensive than i thought that's kind of embarrassing and now we have these heart balloons we have the regrow ones but like i said not really the biggest concern because we can just focus our fire on them they really aren't that difficult now we can buy the monkey ace you can see he kind of just flies around and does huge bursts of shots and those really help us out because they can just take care of these people especially once we start upgrading him he's definitely a worth it upgrade even if it's just because i love the monkey ace i mean i won't lie but he does a good amount of work for us so i like him he's gonna keep doing his thing and i'm also gonna go back to the upgrades try to mow them down from over here and let's go dude actually rapid fire is more expensive than i thought oh i'm thinking about a different tower altogether okay yeah my mind is kind of getting completely confused that's what this game does to you sometimes i mean i'm thinking about regular balloons and like what would the prices regularly be and then i'm like oh wait it's way more expensive here so i think instead now that i can't do what i was thinking there we actually get a monkey farm those are going to help us out a lot because that's just a lot of extra coins so i think that's the worth of decision here it's only a thousand two and we have plenty of more rounds what i'm going to want to do is buy the banana farm before i start the next round just because the banana farm is going to give you all your different bananas right at the start so i'm just going to pop these guys hopefully we can get rid of them they are completely chasing me this is actually kind of scary right now and we can buy that we cannot buy that i need Need a couple more there now we can buy that we have our banana tree he's just sitting right there and the nice thing about the banana tree is it drops all the bananas right at the beginning of the round so i don't have to worry about going back there throughout the round i can just go at the beginning and we're gonna be all good it also is worthwhile to upgrade the banana farm a good bit just because it gives you a lot of bananas we're more focused on the long run at this point than just the short run so we're gonna upgrade it once more and then we're probably gonna be good with what we have banana plantation is 2500 and for just the easy mode just going to round 40 it's not worth it at that point but two upgrades will very much help us out and we're definitely going to be able to get some good upgrades out of it so i think the next thing we want to focus on is upgrade our dartling gunner a tiny bit more and once we have that we're going to be in a pretty safe spot to also upgrade our monkey ace and just kind of go on from there uh, we're pretty set i mean like i said i'm not worried about dying it's more about just living fast also here's where our first camo guy is because we can't see him yeah that's how camos work they're just kind of invisible which is annoying i'm gonna have to also get camel detection soon just because i don't want to lose time to not knowing where the balloons are are like i did right there but we can get that in just a second we're gonna take care of these we're getting some purple balloons pink ones all different kinds they're coming at me fast but i'm not too worried about it i mean look i have so many lives anyway if they're able to do a bit of damage whatever it kills them faster worth it for me and i'm forgetting how much this is our next upgrade but we can do that that's powerful darts and now we're gonna save up for buckshot buckshot is four thousand coins which is a bit but it's definitely gonna be worth it and you'll see why in just a second i mean i say in just a second but it's gonna be a little bit more time than that but you'll see why eventually so we can get through these guys we have some different black balloons now which are also going to present a bit of a problem but again we can just move this entire time they chase after us and they think they can get to us but we have pretty fast movement speed so i'm never really worried and we'll get some more bananas right here upgrade a couple of things i think it's time to upgrade our monkey ace once more okay we can go to support monkey ace get him more darts and we're also going to upgrade the monkey ace a second time if we can i just love my monkey ace look how much work he's doing he's going after balloons i'm not not even near he's just going all around the map like good for him it might not look like that much damage but it really does help out as you go through especially once you get this guy faster and faster yeah we just have this army of balloons now which is nice for me because i like the free money and also i forgot to get my bananas from the banana farm okay this could be oh wait did i not i don't know if they despawn there or if i just forgot whatever you know what our speed runs go pretty well i'm just gonna keep going with it okay we're gonna get these then i'm gonna get camel detection just because again i do not want to lose to camo balloons or i guess not really lose 
lose, but more lose time. Yeah, I, I guess that's the word for it. Where are these camel balloons? Okay, they're over there. We're gonna get some more bananas. We're gonna upgrade our monkey ace once more. And then we're kind of just focusing on getting our dartling up in a second because the dartling gunner is gonna do a lot of work once we get in one more upgrade. So actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait on upgrading my monkey ace and just focus on getting the dartling up there. I think that will just be a tiny bit faster. So it's probably the strategy we should go for. We're getting all this money. We only need to get to about 4,000. So we should be fine. And yeah, now we have lead balloons. Luckily our dartling gunner can take care of them. So they're not too much of a concern, but they are there now. This game definitely gets a lot more fun as you go to the later levels. Like at the beginning, it's just like, eh, you're just a regular dart monkey. You're just kind of chilling out. But as you get up there, this game gets a lot more crazy and you get to see a lot more things. I really like it. All right, guys, I just need you to give me enough money for me to retire, you know, go to the beat. I guess we already are on a beach. What's the story? Why are we on this island right now? Why is there one guy selling to me? And why are these balloons not attacking him? You know, these are probably the story questions no one has ever asked and probably should also not ask because it's balloons FPS. Why do we need story for it? That's another round done. We can go to our banana farm and we should be up there. We are so close to getting our upgrade. I think one more round should do it. And then it's kind of just an insta win. I don't remember the exact price we want to get, but I think we should be around it. It might be worth it just to check, but I think it's 4,500. So I'm just going to wait a second just to make sure because I don't want to waste time going through the menu. We'll get a couple of these bananas, go over there, upgrade our dartly monkey, and we should be good to go. Oh, look, camel balloons. Lucky that we can actually see them this time. And we're going to go through here, get ourselves some buckshot. And yeah, this is what we have now. What is a terrible sound effect? I don't really enjoy that, but it's just so effective. You just mow down through everybody. It explodes all the balloons. It just does terrible. Th like, I don't even know what they're expecting at this point it's just kind of a win for us yeah guys you're trying it's a good attempt i guess but you know what are you really supposed to do against this they are kind of dispersed right now i should probably do this in a bit more strategic manner to try to group them up but you know they're kind of just coming after me unfortunately all the upgrades after this one we can't get on easy mode we just don't get enough money and we don't have enough time to do it so we're gonna upgrade our monkey ace a little bit more but that's all we can really do and yeah after that it's just kind of senseless murder my favorite kind oh I went into the wrong thing. I was trying to go into monkey ace. Okay, lots more darts. You can see Spectre is 25,000. That's insane. But we have our boy doing a lot of work. So that's all that really matters. And yeah, nothing really to worry about. This is an easy mode speed run. I mean, it is easy. So it's not like there was anything to worry about in the first place. But yeah, I guess I can get some more bananas. It's not really going to help me. I might as well also get the regrow blocker just because that would be a little bit helpful. But I don't really think it matters at this point. I mean, we have the money to spend i don't really know what else to do with it we're just mowing down through these people so at this point it's mostly just about strategy trying to group up these balloons so they're not too separate and we should be good if we do that i don't even really have to aim at them if i'm aiming at the ground it's probably still gonna hit them which is hilarious and i also don't really care if people are hitting me like it just kills them a little bit faster you can see it damages me but it will kill them so actually i don't really mind that i might just sit here i'm not too worried about dying and they're just gonna come to me kind of group up in a good way we did miss the sub 20 but we can still get the sub 25 so that's what i'm going to be going for we only have a few more rounds left around round 38 come on man we can definitely get this i just need some good spawns i mean i guess i'm saying i need good spawns but they're always the same spawns i just need to play well okay that's all i need to do oh and we have ceramic balloons now too they just can't really do anything what are you supposed to do against this strategy it kind of just goes through like the balloons don't even stand a chance at this point and i'm very okay with that i am completely fine with just doing this winning you know that sounds like a great idea to me so now we're on the second to last round we get a huge collection of balloons we have rainbow balloons we have all these things coming at us yeah it's they i don't even know why they're trying at this point you should just know i'm gonna win i mean there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with admitting that you're gonna lose so we just have to take care of this and it's not really a problem we have all this yeah kind of the easiest round to be honest and that is going to be time as soon as the game stops us right there i reset my timer instead of uh well we'll figure it out it was less than 25 minutes and that is still a world record as i always say the nice thing about running games that no one has ever run before is it's just the easiest world record for me but i would definitely be down with this game getting a speed running board it's a really cool game i really enjoyed it and yeah i will put the creator of the game in the description so definitely check out his channel it's really cool he made this you know you should definitely go and give him your support and also if you enjoyed this video you might as well support me too leave a like on it i'd really appreciate it it really helps with the youtube algorithm also i 
I do plenty of these kinds of speedruns on my channel, both games that are kind of a little bit cursed and cool nostalgic games as well. So definitely check that out and subscribe if you enjoy. But enough shilling. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.